So look what I found. What do you do when you have a 21 year old RV and something breaks? You get creative. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Marlene. And I'm Gary. And what's better than a day at the beach? Fixing <sighs> your RV. <laughs> One of those, you know, five-minute projects. Fifteen at the most. Just a couple little pieces. We'll be on our way. No, didn't happen. <laughs> because we had to look all over. Well, actually, Gary did. I stayed home. But he actually looked all over the place to get some parts. He, you checked Home Depot. Camping World. And Ace Hardware. And Lowe's. It, and finally, Connections RV had a part that would work. And then we had to go to a car repair, a car parts. Auto parts store. Yeah, auto parts store to get some more parts. What a fun day. <laughs> so we're going to show you what happened. Um, this is the part. The culprit, yes. And it broke. I don't know if you can see the little end there that one side is gone. Yeah. So the whole thing is junk. Yeah. Well, not the whole, I mean, the whole part is junk. Yeah, and so to find something that fits on our RV was more of a challenge because they make them differently now, and Gary got very creative. What he was fixing is the low point... Low point drain. Low point drain. Yeah. You will probably know more about this. I'm going to film it, and if it helps anybody to fix their old RV, it's worth it <laughs> the low point drain that is located by our bathroom broke and it's leaking water steadily from the fresh water tank <laughs> not from our toilet or no, anything yeah right. yeah so the the fresh water is leaking out this is the drain that we usually use for preparing it for winter to drain the all the pipes so they don't freeze up well, for some reason it broke, and now we've got to fix it. And we're in a place where we can. Yes. Which is really nice. Yeah. This is one that broke some years ago. The one that broke now, there's this collar with a pin through it, and one side of the collar is broken off. So this won't hold it in place anymore. Now, I'm going to try to replace this with this and all it has to do is drain out the bottom of our RV. So this is for the low point drain coming off by the shower. And I need to get hose clamps now that fit this because I got hose clamps that are too small. <laughs> then I have to be able to connect this to the other piece that's underneath and I've got this much room to work in of course. And my arms, you know, eh, eh, we'll make it work. God willing. A lot of prayer. <laughs> <laughs> so, because otherwise, we don't have water. Well, yeah. Because we our, our water will leak out. It'll run out the bottom as fast as it runs out the sink. So, <sighs> so that wouldn't be good. We need to have the water pressure. This isn't really all that difficult. It's just that we have to go everywhere to get parts and... Home Depot has some stuff, Lowe's has some stuff, and Camping World has some stuff, but none of them have to, seem to have everything what you need. A 20 year old RV needs to have. Oh. So we're going to make it work, God willing. <laughs> All right. These are what Gary bought that were too small. So they're not clamping tight enough. Is that right? No, they're not. They're, they're too they tight. They won't clamp at all. Okay, they won't clamp down at all because they're already too small. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we need something smaller? No, it has to be bigger. Bigger so it will clamp down tighter? I have to get something bigger for the hose clamp that will fit over this and still be able to snug down on it. Okay. Those I can't make work because they're not they're not big enough to fit around the hose when it's attached 
to this. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So the first thing you have to do is make sure your pump is off and the hot water heater too because we don't want to have any pressure on anything that would create more of a leak. This is the one service bay and these are what? Are these the fresh water things? Those are the, yeah, the drains. For the okay, these are the drains for when we winterize. We have to drain those out. And this is where it's leaking out. And it's not coming out in gushes, you know, or anything like that, but yeah, we're gonna lose water. And if we're going down the road, we're gonna lose it faster because of the vibration. And this is the one that's leaking. So this has to come off and I'm gonna to try to take it off up to here and just replace it with this other tubing. Was it leaking anywhere inside the bay? No, no. Okay, so just leaking underneath. Gary's cutting the, cutting the tube, the pocket knife. Gary just kind of set the tube off to the side here so that the water will leak to the outside and not in the bay. And this is the part he cut off right here. It's gonna take a while. All right. We were fortunate, very blessed, to be able to park in the church in this church parking lot in Panama City and rekindle old friendships with someone Gary hasn't seen for a long time, one of his, his classmates from the seminary. They had this wonderful little spot that was just perfect for us to pull in. We're able to work on what needs to be fixed without getting into any kind of trouble from an RV park. I'll put more information about the church on our Facebook page than its story. It's all been kind of redone since Hurricane Michael came through in 2018. 155 mile an hour winds hit this building and took out part of the roof and so they completely redid it. They did a really nice job. The inside is absolutely beautiful. There's pictures of those on our Facebook page. But you can see some of the damage. There's trees tilted over here. This was uh, in 2018, so it's been a while. But some of these trees, maybe it might blow over from other things too. You'll see where some are snapped off. 150, 155 mile an hour winds can do a lot of damage. 
some of this almost looks like maybe it might have happened more recently some of these trees because they have greenery on them now we do not claim to be <laughs> RV pros professionals who can be repairing things like this but so far Gary is anything he's repaired so far he's done a good job so he's, <laughs> at least as far as I know yeah. <laughs> everything still works or works again you can just kind of see where the, the hole is supposed to be it goes down through that little slit there in the carpet thing with RVs is that if you don't have a lot of space, like we don't have a lot of space, to store things, your, your tools are going to be very limited. Must be some kind of little hacksaw. Well, no, it's a small file. Small file. It's hacksaw little... would be better. Oh. But you couldn't use it here. That's the other thing with RVs is some things that tools would be too big to work on things. One of the hazards of having an older RV is that you can't just buy that whole piece and replace it because they don't make it anymore. Well, they make them different. Yeah. But to find something identical to what we have, almost have to go to a scrapyard or something, maybe. <laughs> Finally broke through. <sighs> to cut that too. I'm trying to cut through that without cutting through the piece underneath it, right? Mm-hmm. And my fingers. Yeah, fingers are important. Whew. This is just flexible. Okay, so the stuff that, the old stuff was, was very rigid and the new stuff that you're putting on is, is more Flexible. It's just a flexible plastic tube, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we've got the clamps on. Yeah. Got the right sizes. This one actually took the smaller clamp that he originally bought. Yeah, it worked out nice.
And we got these parts at an auto supply store. Some of them. Well, the clamps. Clamps. Yeah, we got the clamps at an auto supply store. The tubing you got from Home Depot? Uh, probably. You went to like four different places <laughs> to try to get everything. Okay, so he finds the parts, but then he has to make modifications. Oh man, I am so glad you know what to do. There's no guarantee this is going to work, by the way. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Primary directive. <laughs> Not to hurt yourself? Yes. <laughs> Sorry for the truck noise in the background. There's a, a business near here that has, has a delivery happening right now. So they have a delivery truck running. This piece isn't even going to, is it going to screw into the floor? This doesn't. There's a clamp that does. Okay. So you didn't even need really that particular piece because that's got screw holes in it. Right. You were just thinking this could work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Been down that road before. <laughs> You just needed a really short little piece there, don't you? Yeah. This could get bloody. So. <laughs> it better not get bloody. I don't know where the hospital is yet. All you need is a band-aid. <laughs> oh, a band-aid? Well, that would work. I mean, I can handle that. <laughs> Nurse Arlene. Yeah. <laughs> Might even be able to get my sewing box out and do a couple stitches if I need to. <laughs> do not try this at home. Is that what they say? <laughs> Don't try it when your wife is watching you. <laughs> <laughs> For learning purposes only. I don't know how much you can all see. I think you can figure out what he's doing here. 
he's now piecing it back on that little black piece that was there before that the old one was connected to. That's the intent. And then you'll clamp it down tight like you did the rest of it. See if I can explain this a little bit. This is why he cut off that bottom part here so that it would be more flush to the floor. And he's got this one fit on here. And now he's got that fit on this piece. And he's got to tighten this down. He's got this one tightened already. I'm not sure what that piece is for. Same, the same's on this one. Don't know what that is. It's bigger than the tubing. But Gary must know what it is. So I'll let him take care of it. Drain pressure, but it's also got to hold pressure when the pump is on. So, so there's not a lot of pressure on this on these parts here. Well, there isn't, and there isn't. Uh, <laughs> there is and there isn't. Okay. Yeah. It's not a valve that's used it's a valve that's only used to drain the tanks so there's water pressure on on these connections whenever the pump is on or city water is on yeah but it's not as bad as the pressure that would be on the kitchen faucet or those connections in the bathroom it's still there okay so we're not connected we're not connected to city water. No. Why was it leaking? Cuz we had water in the lines for the bathroom and the kitchen. Okay. Anytime you turn the pump on. It, that's when it would drip. Yeah. Or the water heater puts pressure on too. Cuz it heats the water up and the water expands and puts pressure on the connections. Okay. You're so smart. <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> well, it's a lot more than I know. Yeah. So I think I'll just keep you around. Well, if you would like to go and give it a whirl, turn on the water. Oh, um, and see if it leaks? Yep. Ah, okay. So we're here waiting for the water to turn on. Hope that valve's turned the right way. Yeah, it is still leaking. Isn't that amazing? And there it stopped. Yay! I don't see any water dripping under there. Yep. All right, so everything is back together for the most part. I found out that these things here screw down into the floor and it keeps this, keeps the whole unit from shifting around when you're going down the road. No leaks though, that was the key. Just when you thought it was all fixed, Gary decided to make the short tube even shorter because it was putting too much pressure on the rest of it and going down the road that could easily make it break. Are you happy with that now? Better. Okay. Well, I hope that video helped someone. That to... makes me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, well, we should document this just in case. So hopefully it'll help somebody. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Next to it, a bell is going to 
show up, ring the bell, click on all, and you will be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page for more stories on the church that we're staying at right now, or temporarily, just for a little bit. And what a godsend that was to be able to fix this when you are not in an RV park, which sometimes has the restrictions on fixing things. Till next time, God bless.